In this video, we're going to add the contents of this embargo date column in this uh, library as a watermark to all PDFs that are created in it. So we're going to do this in Nintex. So it'll be a very basic watermarking one. What we want to do, is this a PDF? So just a quick check. And type equals PDF, save. And then if it is a PDF, we go to Mohimbi, add our watermark as PDF, and then we configure it. We'll just leave it as text. It'll be watermarked to the same folder, uh, so that's no problem. And then we'll just go embargo until Insert the reference, item properties, embargo date. Okay, we want to make sure people can see it. Be in the middle center. We're going to make it red in the background on all pages. Rotation, let's say we'll make it minus 45. Opacity, let's just make it 50 to make it easier to read. And then, there we go. We don't need to bother with the rest of these because this is just a sample of the watermarking. So then we save that. And then in the workflow settings, we'll say whenever items are created. And we'll save that. And then we publish our workflow. And this is watermark embargo date on PDF. So we'll submit that. Okay. Now, we don't have any documents here. So let's go here. We've got our document here. It also has an embargo date. But now we've decided, okay, we know when this is embargoed till. It's going to be until the 9th of August. So now we've added this embargo date. We save it. And then we're going to convert this document to PDF. And we're going to send it to the embargoed library, making sure to include the SharePoint met metadata. Okay, green light, so it's fine. So let's go to the destination library. Okay, and we see the watermarking is already in progress. And now it's done. And using the Foxit reader, which we've mentioned before. And here you go, embargo until based on the date that we entered. And that's all there is to it.